Yeah. So yeah. okay. So like a, a less profitable OnlyFans because that's how you're gonna get those <laughs> oh. free gifts. Like, <laughs> I was right. <laughs> okay. It's basically it's we basically like, a way uh, to get in the Discord middle sugar baby. Sugar baby. It's a Discord sugar baby. Discord. Okay. See, just say that. I'll get it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm surprised you didn't know that, Crow, being on yeah, Discord I, as much I, as you are, as much I, as we all are. Yeah. Do you think Crow is a Discord kid? Welcome to the Operation Strix Podcast. I am your host, The Crow. Joining me today in no particular order, I'm going to name everybody off and then we're all going to say hi. Roski Draftsman, uh, Sid, Dancing Pineapples, Cool Blue Rays, and Cannibal Food. Everybody say hi. Uh, hi. Hi. We got a full house here today. <laughs> um, We're here to talk about chapter 89? 89, 88? I think. Yes. 89. Uh, and also episodes uh, three and four of season two. Uh, I forgot the actual number. Uh, uh, 29? 29? 8, 28, 29? Mission 29, I think. 29. Let's we, I it's think so we also confusing. need to talk about 28, too. I know. Why do they refer to it like that? When I know. It's like it's... another season. <laughs> right. Yeah. And I, I always get confused with core one, core two. I'm like, I just call it season three. Like, I don't yeah. really it, care it, at this point. Uh, it's like uh, the last one. Fuck it. Yeah, that last one. Those last two episodes that we didn't talk about. We're going to talk about them today. <laughs> okay. Uh, we didn't so we'll go ahead and get started on the chapter first. Um, it was Yuri, guys. Hey. Mm-hmm. Uh, oh, Yuri. I actually enjoyed <laughs> it. Yeah. I mean, I, I, it, was, no, it was a good chapter. Fire. I'm just like not Trouble. a huge Yuri fan. <laughs> I know. Yuri. I see. Wasn't expecting it. Yeah, I was like, huh, Yuri. I yeah. know. I mean, I mean, someone expected it in right before. Oh yeah, it was fine. Like oh. half an hour before. Uh, it was Newt. Half an hour before the chapter dropped, Newt was just like, "This chapter is gonna be a Yuri chapter." And then we were like, "Girl, what the heck?" And then we opened the chapter, and boom! Well, who do we see? Yep. <laughs> she probably Newt had that. She, she had that double smiley face. She was being so sus about it. <laughs> <laughs> that new is endo spy like, that's been totally confirmed now <laughs> i'm so uh, yeah i i agree 100 percent. I, I can see that happening it kind of um, makes sense that since um he was involved in that last arc that we had so i guess it was kind of you know meant to be yeah, yeah got, it, at least it, a chapter it, after that arc. it makes sense yeah like you were saying he was part of the whole uh incident and so like i'm glad Endo is finally following through with like plot threads that he leaves because he has a bad habit of not doing that. Um, and uh, I did want to see what happened to Yuri afterwards. Like, you know, your, Lloyd did kick the shit out of him. So I he also got hit by he's a truck. okay. Eh. And he got hit by a truck. So it's, <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. Apparently yeah, he's so been like, consistently getting hit by trucks. Eh. Right. Because even the lieutenant's first thing, like, dude, you need to stop that. Like, <laughs> I, 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 guess that, I guess that's a form of training for him. You know, <laughs> like you, you get hitting martial arts to train your body and toughen it up. He just needs to get hit by trucks because he has been hit by yours. So at this point, <laughs> being hit by normal people doesn't face him at all. <laughs> uh, well, even his, uh, his, okay, she's not his superior. She is, she is his subordinate, but also his senpai because she was his, uh, uh, upperclassman in college. <laughs> But uh, Chloe? Chloe, actually, he was the upperclassman in college. She she was older than him, though. But I I think it was like, yeah, that she just was older than him in college. But I think they were probably like the same year. Oh oh, I see. Because well, okay, the chapter says that he was fourteen when he was in college, and they met Which is there. Ridiculous. It's <laughs> yeah. <so ridiculous. laughs> Like okay, Sheldon from Big Bang Theory. <laughs> no, we need. Okay, let's talk about that first, okay? Because 
All right, we we knew Yuri was smart, but I didn't know he was like genius level, basically, like Lloyd. I don't actually know if it's genius level because he still actually has to study. I think it's just Nepotism. he worked very hard and was able to progress quick enough that he was put in. I don't know. Is I mean, he actually that pretty... intelligent? Because he mean, doesn't come off that guys, way. I can't believe you're making me be a Yuri defender this early on. I mean, <laughs> like, he, he... <laughs> but like Lloyd also like has to prepare really, really hard for everything. So it's not like Lloyd is naturally perfect. Right. He just oh, yeah. puts in ten thousand percent effort. Oh my god! I don't want to sound like a Yuri the, defender. They're both so extra. That's the, <laughs> that's what they have in common. I'm yeah. forcing Pines to be a Yuri defender. Is anime hard work? You know, <laughs> like. You can reach the level of training of this guy because you train one week really, really hard. It's the same basic principle, you know, exager exaggeration for the sake of uh, the plotting. In this case, I do think that Yuri is pretty smart on average. Well, he is book smart, you know? He is good at, at yeah. grasping information. Yes. That's what makes him a good... But at the same time, he like your doesn't he's so stupid. like he doesn't so he doesn't stupid. quite have a grasp <laughs> about what uh well normalcy kind of is so his view of the world is skewed but he would be really really smart if you put him in any work that requires um academic work because you know people aren't just smart when they go to college yeah, I'm stupid and I went to college, so it's not that hard. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it's true. I might just be making it up, but I think it was implied either by the lieutenant or Chloe that uh, he does really good with desk work, but he's not necessarily a... Uh, like, he, he's better at desk work than he is being a field agent, because as we saw I in think, the chapter... yeah. Yeah, Yuri he's, just goes all in he's, ham crazy. He's better when it's, like, obvious that he has, like, the the element of control like he's really good at the interrogations like when we first were introduced to he's him he's very good yeah. at handling information you know because he's a he's definitely an intel gatherer like we saw with uh uh the journalist like he's very methodical in that sense like he'll like he's in the background and he's like like we saw in the episode he's like super detailed with like how he takes everything even the lieutenant's like i really don't need to know all of this but thank you for <laughs> like putting all this extra <laughs> shit in there uh, yeah. not necessary though but, but yeah, yeah I feel so though, he's, being super detailed he's good with <laughs> oh i feel it too where it's like yeah. everything might be important so might as well put down that he like ate this for lunch yeah. that he likes Maybe this he in the tv yeah, that he that, dresses like this that blah blah yeah it looks like he's good with information but he's not good at yeah. using it if you know like, because you can gather a lot yeah, of data that's fair. Would completely suck at uh, you know um, making work out of it. Yeah. Well, yeah. Like Yuri in this one, and this is what I'm saying. Like I'm glad Endo's following up with it because like Yuri's already very immature. Like we already knew we know oh, yeah. this, but like now that his pride has been crippled by his encounter with Twilight, like he's just full on like insecure mode, and he's just like just overcompensating to a disgusting degree and his lieutenant and uh subordinate chloe are just like dude you need to chill the fuck out like it's not that big a deal like everyone even says like dude you like you punch twilight that's more than any of us have done and you know yuri's like that's not good enough and it's like yeah i mean everybody's like you're breaking down the vibes you need to chill yo you need to <laughs> i know it's funny but like out of everyone the sss is just like yo this is chill vibes only <laughs> <laughs> you're harsh and my mellow man you need to Calm yourself. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I forgot they showed another cameo of his locker again. <laughs> I was just looking at that. I'm flipping through it right now. I'm like, dude. I didn't notice that until now. You are, you are, you I know about you the are, house, you are, you are. but I didn't notice that they showed the locker again. Oh, uh, the little heart shape. <laughs> what, uh, stickers or something? It's so awkward. Wait, I'm wait, like, oh. let me zoom Someone in. rubbed out. Yeah. So does his does his um paycheck go towards? Why does he have a picture stuff? of her from behind? God I damn it, Yuri! I, I he snuck no a idea. photo or something, which Ugh, is just worse. Oh, God, God he weird. makes it so hard. <laughs> He's your sister. Why are you snapping yeah, behind it, pics? It, oh it, God, it, never mind. I don't uh, know. Let, 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 oh, let's no. not. Let's not. Where's this go? Let, 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 we no, know where this going is going. Let, let's let's not, going let's not get too much into that. And you know who's making it not go anywhere? My new favorite girl. 
freaking Chloe. Yeah. Oh love my God. her. I, I love, love her. her. I stand. I'm in love. Love she's women. I am so she's the most fucking women. relieved that she. Well, she's not crazy. Keeps, she's yeah, the most no, normal she, girl like, so far. Like, she calls out his bullshit yes. of being she creepy. She calls out his bullshit. And she slaps him, rightfully so. She slaps him twice. 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 She slaps him twice. Bitch slaps him. <laughs> <laughs> just what he deserves. deserves. Sometimes Bam. he needs some slap. Sometimes he does, and he I'm, really I'm does. saying this. I'm saying this from like, okay, just like the whole setup of Chloe. I love what Endo did with Chloe, in that okay, yes, she's not a Fiona clone, thank God. Okay, but that's, that's also that <laughs> she's she's in a position of power over Yuri, but not really because yes, he is who, her, her superior officer, but she's older than him and she's known him for a long time. And so she's kind of got this older sister thing going on, like with Yor. But honestly, I think based on what I saw of this chapter, I think Chloe is, a, in some ways, she's a better sister to Yuri than Yor is to Yuri. In because she says sister, she's willing to not our mother put him down when he needs it. You know what, Crow? Your I'll, I'll co-sign that because yeah, yeah, Yor definitely indulged him. him to like yeah, so exactly. Fault. Yeah. I I th- I think yeah, that I mean yeah they're I think that really it can be summarized in the her. fact that she is her sister and not his care his caretaker you know like since she she doesn't yeah. have the she, she she doesn't have you know that emotional baggage of being the caretaker like oh I have to provide for my brother oh I have to like she can he can be like dude cut that shit out come yeah, oh, yeah, I got the shit yeah, out. Like, man. Weird. Like she, <laughs> she, she can see the seams that where your wouldn't because your has this sen- heart has this sense of responsibility of oh I did all this to provide for him. Yeah, she's uh, yeah she's on the outside looking in and like I don't know like I know I I, I already know some people are gonna be shipping these two but honestly they've been shipping oh yeah the mold no I know. <laughs> I kind of a little bit. I'm a little guilty of that, but I'm also on the train of like I I at this I think I just want her to be a bro and just be like yo you're be a bro. Like, she, be she's your extra like, right now like <laughs> like she's Yuri's she's Yuri's Sylvia like what she was saying in this chapter feels very reminiscent of what Handler was saying to Fiona in the hospital. Uh huh. Agreed. Yep. Yeah. But it's like a reminder that you can't give everything for someone else. You have to at least, like, at least do things for yourself yeah. too. Self preservation. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> the fact that people, yeah. the fact well, they have to it, be reminded of of self preservation is a little sad. <laughs> yeah. Well, I like that she. I like that she. Kind of, she puts it into perspective of him and like. Uh, and I love it because even like in universe, because I feel like half the time it's done for a joke, but like in universe, like Chloe is straight up like, look, you're freakishly durable. OK, like you could take some hits and like you get back up and it, it's crazy you could do that. But at the same time, you're just a human and you will die if you keep going like this. So it's like, you know, you're all about your but that's bullshit because if you were really all about your, you would take better care of yourself because she Ooh. would be sad if you died. And I, I, I guess that finally clicked for Yuri. He's like, oh yeah, you know. And yeah, it, uh, I don't think anybody's I'm told him that before. Wow. Like, for him. Yeah. yeah. It, Agreed. Yeah. It's, yeah. it's such a common sense. I kind of wish he would live more for himself rather than just like your. But I, I mean, I get it because like that was all they all only had each other growing up, and I can't imagine like you lose your parents that young and. Mm-hmm. Having to like, you know, depend on each other to survive, basically, yeah. and your had to become more of like a mother to him rather than like a sibling, like yeah. you normally would growing up in like a family unit with parents and all that stuff. So yeah, yeah. Chloe is great. I love her so much. I'm so you know. I'm actually wondering if she's like the same age as your, considering she was in college. Like that will be tragic. Let's say okay. So like Yuri was 14. So she would have to be at least like 18, 19, something like that. So probably she could be like up there. A little well, bit. honestly, she's probably like yours age at this point. Cause if yeah. he's 14, yeah. he's 21 now. Right. So she's, yeah, she's probably up there. She's probably, yeah. like I said, she's probably like an older sister to your, either that or he's just like, I don't know. I, well, uh, at least it's nice to see that he's like totally chill with 
jokingly, but maybe not jokingly saying, keep saying, like, I'll execute you if you keep bad-mouthing my sister. I don't think he was joking. <laughs> he never jokes about that. No, he doesn't <laughs> joke. But it was. But she's like, you won't. Like we said, it was nice to see him actually just kind of buddy up. Like, it's, it's good to see that he's not just, he can be like, I don't know, he can just be himself around, like, yeah other people a lot of the time it's like, and not just his only yeah. lieutenant his only friend his slash superior he, he doesn't no he doesn't, it's like weird to think about because remember dominic was his friend too i was about to say like are I, they friends I, yeah I they friends. were just neighbors yeah, i rarely ever see them together no now, right. it's kind of sad but like but like i don't know where their friendship started but like obviously well, i he assume, trust dominic enough well, that okay. he was like if at this party, I'm gonna call Dominic and ask him about your boyfriend. That's not just like a casual neighbor. Yeah, that's a friend. Yeah, okay. they're bros. Which is like, I don't understand why Yuri doesn't have more friends. Because like, I can't. I know why he doesn't. To. Well, well, then how does Dominic be his friend? Is what I'm what, saying. It's what, like, what, what, Dominic, 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 okay, well, Dominic is dating Camilla, so clearly he has a tolerance for insane people like this. Well, oh, Nagi just pretty- brought up the fact that um, they all could have been <laughs> classmates. <laughs> Um, Dominic is to do it. Well, maybe that's, kind of that's yeah, also a good point possibly. but no I just think Dominic has like a high tolerance for like okay I have like an insane girlfriend and then also one of my co-worker kind of co-workers has an insane little brother I guess I'll just put up with this because maybe, he's such a nice maybe, guy maybe he's like Yuri just very attract- understanding I think it's just yeah. very understanding of like oh you got some weird hangups we, but you're not we, a bad person so I'm chill we need more about this guy maybe. guys remember Remember Dominic is shopkeeper and <laughs> No, you, I, was... I thought you were saying like he was SSS or something. Where is no. the shopkeeper thing coming what? from? That's quite <laughs> big if he is. What? Wait, Do I'm you guys really not confused. remember? I don't know. I this don't know. Was like, <laughs> dozens of chapters ago we were like, guys, what if Dominic is the shopkeeper? No, I think you said that. And we were I, don't like, I don't remember. I don't remember that at all. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna pull out receipts later. Okay, okay. pull them out later. I was gonna say, what if Yuri just attracts people who thinks who think they can fix him. Like I'm pre- <laughs> pretty sure Dominic is like I can fix Camilla, and he kind of did. And like maybe Chloe's like I can fix Yuri. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> As like a friend, I don't I don't think that's anything's hilarious. Going on between Dominic them. is like oh, that kind of pick me girl. That thing. poor guy. Is that, what, is that what you were claiming here? I can fix her. The bad boy, the bad girl, I can yeah. fix her. Yeah. I don't know if anyone can fix Yuri, but we're going to try. <laughs> well, no, one is, no one can fix Yuri. Chloe's maybe come like I the closest. I think if he gets... If he gets hit a little bit more, maybe we'll maybe his him. brain will like end up in the right place. We'll restart his brain, brain by damage. smacking him. <laughs> he'll be he'll be experiment zero zero nine. <laughs> <laughs> we'll turn him into a normal person. That'll be the experiment. Oh yeah. Okay. What? <laughs> just reverse all that craziness. Okay. <laughs> we'll make you normal. Oh, Pines just point brought where... receipts. And oh, and then he'll get to a point where he's like looking in his locker in his home, like, why do we have so many photos of my sister? This is I should take these down. It's like, wow, I should really re- reevaluate my life choices oh. right now. Also, <laughs> yeah, we didn't bring up that he also has all those pictures of your in his house. Oh yeah, fuck. <laughs> and and then, who angst it up? Do you know, was, do you know was what it I would do or if I came SK? over? Or pines. It, someone was myself. angsting it up about like, oh, yeah, that's like his only family member, so it makes sense that he only have like a bunch of photos of your. Yeah, there. that was me. Yeah, fuck I was you, like, pines. he probably lost all, <laughs> probably lost all his pictures of his parents. And you're Stop the only it. one he has. Stop it. I'm about no. to. Okay, I can see like a picture frame of you and your sister, or maybe like a picture of her, but like all collage around his like walls <laughs> in his house. Too your much. Came over. Extra, I just it's a bit extra. <laughs> he needs. He just thinks it's fine. Yeah. Well, I think it's different because she's literally the reason why he's staying at that job. But Yuri is just like, I don't know. I'm going to, my existence is for your, and it's like, (laughs) yeah. How much money has he spent on that getting prints of his sister? (laughs) Just this is all the same. That's why he lives in a shitty apartment. He just buys frames for you. I was going to say, that budgeting (laughs) meme where it's like, someone who's good at finance, help me. Okay, so he spends, like, all his money printing the best quality photos and framing it really nicely, and then has no money for, like, food and rent. 
That's I'm, what I'm saying. But I'm like, where does he get these pictures from? Does he just go out and like take pictures? There's of probably like randomly? a specialty shop he goes to. He was like, listen, I need like oh. the highest quality, high resiest <laughs> photos of my sister. You can print. You're out. not even probably wrong. Like you're probably <laughs> right. Know. That's what pisses me off. Like, okay, I want, <laughs> I want Chloe and your uh, Yuri to get together just so she can fucking fix him. Like, I want her to just like show not up at his Chloe door. also being, I can fix him. <laughs> I, well, she can. I okay, straight up think see? she can. Like, she no, just she needs could. to go over to his house, knock on his door, and he'd be like, "What the fuck?" And she's like, "We're taking pictures." And then he just like We're take pictures, pictures together. <laughs> like, they go on a date. Yuri doesn't know what understand what's Is going this just on. Just another level of the OnlyFans. <laughs> I, I don't know. What, I, don't I wish that was here. I don't want to Chloe through that. No. <laughs> Guys, this has gotten so off the rails. I, I need to get this train to the station. It's good because this is what I wanted to talk about with the chapter. I want to fucking... I wanted to talk about Chloe and Yuri. I just love their dynamic now. Like, no, I, I just want... their dynamic too. I think that... I do? I think at the very but least... Chloe she deserves okay. better. But she, she does, does deserve, deserve better. better. She doesn't need to fix it. I just need her to go to his place and then... Feel the photos. All of these women deserve better. What the Rose Gate? I think Happy. we are off topic <laughs> more than ev- we have ever been. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> what I want to talk about. I just miss you guys. I'm going crazy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, this is what people come to watch us for, anyways. That's being crazy. <laughs> I'm all for it. Okay. I hope it's entertaining. <laughs> but okay, going forward though. I don't know if Endo is like setting this up for a Yuri arrest Lloyd arc. If we're going towards a Yor and Garden arc, if we're if this is just gonna be Endo making a bunch of one off chapters, mm-hmm. it feels I don't know. It feels um, like that. The later, I don't know. I don't. I I uh, I don't know. You the know, last the question. last page makes me think that like I don't know. Like it. Like I, I'm looking at it now, and it's just like. Maybe Yuri really is just going to go full on and arrest Lloyd for some dumb shit. He has that very dramatic face, and that's like... Yeah. 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 That's usually Endo's, like, tell of, like, okay, this is, like, a serious moment. Even though it's followed up with another joke. So, like, I, I you're right. You might be setting up for something later on, which I'm totally all for Yuri versus Lloyd again. Even if it's just, like, Battle of the Minds. The, the, that, we we, we should have gotten that, that ages again. ago, honestly. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, we kind of got that with him coming over, but that was like what chapter twelve. No, yeah, but but so but like but ago. yeah, that chap, but that chapter was like, okay, I, I, I don't hate that it was um, focused on the comedy, you know, Yuri being a dumbass <laughs> and completely blowing yeah. everything up and kind of pushing and then reading a potential uh, premature kiss, but I do think that even early on. It would have been interesting if the manga gave a reason for Yuri to be suspicious of. Yeah. You know, not just in a, oh, he sucks because he's with my sister, you know, but just in like, huh, Yeah. I don't trust this guy. Because, well, to be completely fair, like, a little too fair f- for Yuri, even if he wasn't, you know, him with his complexes, it would be a little fishy, like, yeah. Hey, you got married and didn't tell me about this guy that you never introduced me I to. Mean, he kind of like, did. It, like, even without Yuri being Yuri, that will have been suspicious. So, I can get that. I mean, but he kind of did though. Like, he was like, you know, mm-hmm. it. It wasn't as crazy. He wasn't as crazy back then because we just got introduced to him. I mean, he was still he, he was still was crazy, but there was he that was moment. Definitely crazy. Yeah, he was crazy, <laughs> but like there was that moment where she was like, "Oh, you know, now you have a big brother." And he's like, "No, no, 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 no." He's like, "I don't know this guy. You just told me you got married. Like, nothing here is adding up." And like, but it got swept under the floor because you was like, "Oh, I forgot to tell yeah. you." And you was like, "Oh, okay." <laughs> but that was he, so he does still Delulu. suspect something is up. Delulu. I feel like, <laughs> but yeah, but uh... that's the thing that like bothers me is like, like if Yuri did like a deep dive, Lloyd, unless Wise is really, really, really good at faking everything, it he'd I find mean... something that proves Lloyd Forger doesn't exist. Yeah. yeah. I mean, all Ooh, he like, okay. and, it, and that's kind of like a yeah, that's kind of a, a a big point is like, you don't even have to go through records or something like that. You could just be like, oh, like 
okay, let me look at, uh, you know, what college he went to. And like, maybe it's a real college, but then you go to the professors and like, okay, you know, what can you tell me about this guy? And they're like, who are you talking about? Like, it'd be super easy for Yuri to find out, but I don't know if they'd just be like, oh, he's really busy with SSS stuff or... That's I don't know. I point. feel like Endo's just like ignore this reality. I mean, we're already yeah. giving up so much rational thought. No, <laughs> this is uh, another I, thing. It, it, it's for the conservation of drama. Drama. Yeah. yeah it, no. it, 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 I don't know. I think it's just because it's a gag manga, and Endo doesn't want us to think too deeply about this. Which, too bad, we've got a podcast, so we're going to. Yeah. But it, 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 it's one of those <laughs> problems, buddy. But yeah, it's kind. Of, it, it's kind of funny because. A lot of those, a lot of the things the stories built upon could very, very, very easily fall apart. Oh <laughs> uh, well, yeah, but that's kind of the that's. I mean, like I said, it's a gag manga. As much as, as much as we throw into this story and like how invested we are in the story, at the end of the day, it's a comedy manga. So like. Yeah, a lot of stuff doesn't make sense, but at the end of the day, it's like, okay, Endo's kind of like, Endo's pretty like 50-50 with it, I feel like. it. Not that it's an even 50-50, it's like, okay, half of this stuff doesn't make any sense, and it's not supposed to make any sense, don't think too hard on it. And then he'll like sprinkle breadcrumbs throughout the, the chapters and be like, well, actually, this shit's going down, but I'm not telling you anything about that, I'm gonna make y'all think about it for the next... 50 oh, chapters yeah. and then i'm not gonna bring it up out of nowhere and then y'all are gonna be like what yeah <laughs> so, it, 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 yeah. it plays loose with what treats seriously when it treats seriously yeah. it can be really effective but then you have like uh, how was the guy in the hospital called but he, uh well whatever, whatever that guy like him buying the director director the one obsessed yeah. with fiona because oh, God bless that dude. Well, because that thing was like, oh my god, are you okay? You fell from the stairs for through all the floors. Like, dude, nobody falls from the stairs like that. And if she did, she will be dead. It's <laughs> <laughs> ah, fine. It's like but, durable. But, Everyone's durable in this moment. Uh, they're all soup. They're like know, humans in this fair, universe. Or, okay, yeah, but they're like, they're they're like hit by a truck. The hitting by a truck, I don't understand. But I know plenty of people who've fallen downstairs and been fine. No, yeah, but it's not like he... Wait, wait. It's not it, just like she is, fell is from stairs. Is getting hit by trucks a briar thing? Maybe. Kind, kind of. of. Yeah. They've been hit by cars a lot. But yeah, no. <laughs> it's, it's not right, just that... Yeah. Like, uh, you ever hit by, like, twice? Yeah. No, yeah. yeah. Briar siblings have been he, hit by cars. He stopped <laughs> one car that was going at her, and then she got knocked by the other car protecting Becky, I think. Yeah, briars just hit cars. This is just like, that's why they take the <laughs> yeah, train. She threw Becky and then she got hit by the car. <laughs> yeah, but no, no, yeah. it's not just that Fiona supposedly fell from stairs. You know, I fell from stairs and didn't break anything. But they, they but they just like she fell from the stairs through the entire hospital. You know, just like he was in a Tommy Jerry cartoon. That was the excuse. Like you're gonna break yeah. something if you fail multiple stories of. <laughs> Upstairs constantly. Yeah, no, not this manga. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I mean, okay, so like I'm, I I enjoyed the chapter. I'm glad that Yuri finally got one smacked for being stupid. Uh, that made my no two right smacks. Two, two, two smacks. smacks. Two oh, smacks. Two smacks. Not enough little. smacks, but it's a start. <laughs> Yuri needs uh, like a couple hundred more, then we'll be on the right pa- page. But um, I, I, uh, we were talking, me and Nagi, a little bit before this, and uh, I was just like, I was disappointed that it. This doesn't seem like any like lasting change for Yuri or like major change for Yuri. It's a little bit like he got a little bit of perspective. I, I think I would same. have been more uh, disappointed if it was like Endo had built this up over like two or three chapters. And then afterwards, Yuri was just back to being Yuri. Like I'd be pretty pissed mm. off if that happened. Um, but no, this was a nice one off chapter that kind of progressed char- uh, Yuri's character a, a little, little bit. So. I'll accept it. it. I think a little backstory too. What it is. It's all little. Yeah, I think what it is with these like mini chapters is that like he he'll put in like some uh like little backstory that there will be a payoff later and it will be important. I like oh, the yeah. fact that they brought up um Chloe and 
that what she's mm-hmm. saying is reasonable um even though everyone all the main characters lose their brain cells when they're together but honestly having oh, them definitely. uh mm-hmm. the side characters have that brain cell and them pointing out yeah yeah that's sort of weird kind of thing i yeah yeah it's just I, I really, I really like this in terms of world building. Uh, it, it, yeah, it, it, it's, it's like even even the least interesting chapters end up amounting to something. Uh, like that um, really, really shitty chapter about Lloyd giving therapy to one of the teachers. Like that ended up amounting to. Oh, I still hate that chapter. I, I, I mean, I like that chapter. <laughs> it, it, you guys are mean. I hate that it's, it's still. I it's absolutely hate that chapter. Chapter part I, of the Molark. Yeah, either. because it ended it's being part, part of the Molark. It ended amounting to something eventually. It's still not great on its own, but... No, it did. <laughs> it's not great on its really? own, but I really... I was excited when it came out. Well, because I understood the psychology of it. Maybe that's just me, though. <laughs> I, I just... I hated it from a storytelling perspective. No, no. You know what chapter was the actual worst? Tell us. The chapter where Becky came oh, over. Oh, 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 that that was literally yeah. makes me cringe so hard. I can't kind even think of. about it. I thought it was cringe. actually pretty adorable. I like it. pretty funny, though. The, the <laughs> humor of that chapter. <laughs> it's... I don't like that. I can't handle... I can't handle second... I can't handle secondhand embarrassment. No, I'm with you on that, though. I was cringing pretty hard, no, but I, I liked I, it. I, yeah. I was laughing. I feel that. Like, I still like Becky's hair, but... Yeah. Yeah. Maybe needs to chill. <laughs> Plus, it's just like that's how little girls are. Like, it, they make it yes. weird sometimes. It's like, <laughs> no, yeah, <laughs> they're the ones always like, let's get married on the playground when they're like, oh yeah, six, seven like, years old. And girls, you don't even you know what that means. means. <laughs> like, uh, yeah, yeah. I never did that. I did that with another person's like webkins. Like we had. Like, <laughs> 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 See, it's less weird though. Marrying your stuffed animals is less weird than actual child marriage. <laughs> Oh yeah, I don't know. I feel like we we like played everything on the playground. As Blue knows about the <laughs> infamous. Oh, <laughs> I'm not yeah. even gonna. Well, <laughs> shared on the podcast for hundreds to hear. No, I just cannot read it. Uh, <laughs> uh, Jesus saying, Christ. Okay. Hot girls <laughs> played warrior cats on the playground. Wait, what? <laughs> The warrior cats Hot thing, girls. yeah. Warrior cats. <laughs> that was them. I never did that because I never even read the books. What? We didn't either. Oh, uh, see, we we were we were just we made shit up. We were we were playing wizards half the time. Yeah, I it was, was playing like magical guns. fairies. Yeah, like we heard with guns. Not with guns, but oh. with like wands and. Stuff. Well, it was I wizards versus people with guns. So like, whatever <laughs> stick you picked up, if it looked more like a gun or a wizard stick, then yeah, you were that, a wizard. That or you sounds were a gun like guy. an actual <laughs> manga premise. <laughs> Yeah, it sounds like that could be a real manga should, premise. It'd be like Let's a playground Pokemon wars, until they like it's it. just kids. Kindergarten wars. That too. No, that. no, no. That that's my Madoka, Madoka Magica. If you think about it, or Dan, uh, Dan to Dan. Dan they would to do Dan. that. Oh my god, that was wizards great. versus gods. <laughs> that sounds like an upcoming arc. To be honest with yeah. you, yeah, <laughs> yeah, it does. Uh. Especially with everything going on in that manga right now with the traveling rock and roll band and there's like a bunch of yeah. people playing yeah, the car yeah. and they're trying yeah. to get the girl she's gotta <laughs> sing idol music to save her life like, yeah from the, the it was it's like so tragic and so weird at the same time dan and dan's yeah. so good at doing that <laughs> yeah it's, it's like wow here's this really tragic story they about should not be like, able to get away with that making yeah. you so sad one second you're like what the fuck <laughs> Oh yeah, it's right like now. this girl, this little girl's inadvertent death, and then it's like, okay, we're gonna sing on a rock band with, uh, with Ma- I don't even know what, with Japanese idols while a giant building is chasing us, throwing <laughs> oh, yeah. buildings at us. It's like, what the what? Fuck is that's the hyperbole. That's no, exactly Dan what Dan happened. <laughs> that, <laughs> that's the best part. Yeah, in in like two chapters, like back to back. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, oh, and it's not even, it, and it's not even the worst of it. <laughs> like, yeah, no, there's a lot that happens. Um, no. Shit, I was gonna say something. Um, uh, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> yeah, way back, something that Cannibal had said. Sorry. I was gonna, I was gonna talk about it. No, uh, is it about, the... about story? Oh, okay. Telling. I don't know. I just know that. What do you think I was gonna say, Blue? Because you're usually right. Oh, I don't. I thought we were just talking about. 
uh, about that chapter with the therapist thing, and you didn't enjoy that for storytelling reasons. We didn't. Okay, I think That's it was I before. I think it was before Cannibal had brought it up, but I was going to talk about um, how I enjoyed the fact that. Uh, uh, I think I enjoy the story more when we have the foils in it more often because okay, oh. when when it's just Anya and the kids being silly together, I enjoy it. But when it's like I like I love the Anya Becky chapter because Becky is Anya's foil, or at least she keeps her in check. So like they're more real with each other. They're not caricatures or like they're not super silly or like extra with each other like they're people and mm-hmm. like lloyd is like that whenever it's handler or like sometimes fiona because fiona's super extra but the times that she's with lloyd and it's usually he's giving her advice or is like chastising her and there's like it's like a real serious <laughs> conversation or like with here we have chloe and with yuri and like this chapter i could tolerate yuri like i enjoyed yuri not just yuri getting beat but like him actually having it put in perspective <laughs> no, yeah of him. like look you're like human. yeah it, it, like it looks better when other, there's right? a yeah yeah like it's actually somebody like put it, in perspective it's actually the reason why it's actually the reason why the episode with the um where he's doing research works because there's a fall to him you know the guy he is mm. um investigating mm. about it's a foil to Yuri in yeah. that he sees his situation in a completely different light, but he's also doing things for his family. He's actually taking it. So that gets under Yuri's armor and makes him think mm-hmm. about a little like, huh, is he doing this for his family? Like, is, is it, is it, it's the fact that there's something contrasting to the craziness of the character that reels them back. If you have the characters just go, just goofing around, then nothing happens. Nothing meaningful gets added to the conversation, and it's just, ha, huh, that was fun for um, the two minutes I read the chapter on. Let's do something else. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I uh, think... What were you saying, Cannibal? I think what it is, is, um, like, that kindness. There is a really real like raw feeling of human kindness like these characters are ridiculous but at that point when they show like when they see someone's vulnerabilities and they like he stayed outside as a uh, a sign of respect that he respected what he was doing for his family yes what he did was wrong but he mm-hmm. also didn't try to run he came out Uh, He came out himself because he knew he had to, he gave up the ghost because he knew he was fought out. Um, Mm -hmm. You know, like, um, like those moments of like human, like raw human vulnerability are so essential to what spy family is, even though everything's like morally gray, there are like acts of human kindness, which is really important. Especially in the world that we're living right now. No, yeah, no, yeah, yeah. because it makes it makes a difference from Snaps just being to that. Uh, a kind of crazy high premise and grounded down, you know. Because there are other mangas that have spies or other mangas that have um, crazy setups, but they feel they ring hollow when they when they don't have this kind of element of humanity. Of humanity, you know, because. It's very easy to get lost on the weeds of how how may how I make this more explosive, how I make this more exciting, and it's, and this is the opposite approach. And yeah, we've talked about it before that like the even though Endo doesn't do it evenly, it's still I that's aspects that I enjoy about Spy Family is that yes, you do get this comedy, but at the same time, there's this underlying like realness to the story itself, and like. You know, with chapters like this and like, uh, uh, like the one with, uh, I mean, even the arc before this with, uh, 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 Wheeler, uh, you know, those are the, those are the moments that keep us here. And then the filler chapters are just like, that's the fun times. And like, you know, we kind of, depending on how long the fun times last, it's like, okay, we're tired of the fun times. But then when the serious shit happens again, you're just like, I want the fun times again. This is too much. Like, or at least I'm <laughs> that way. I don't know if everyone else is. I mean, I'm, I'm, really, I'm, I'm I want the eggs. I want, I, want the eggs. <laughs> I, I, want, um, I want more stuff over the Desmond so I'm, bad. I mean, yes. you know the kind of shit I read. That's nothing for me. But but yeah, yeah. I 
the thing is it keeps a ball it keeps it balanced because it, it yeah. could really lose its rails if it get if it got caught a, a little too much into the drama because I mean for once because the drama is set up in a way that has all these holes that could be poked poked at and will make the manga crumble otherwise, you know? Um yeah, I think what it is, what Spy Family does well is that balance between um like it is serious these are serious um things like war happens and it's the aftermath but a lot of it is just finding those little moments that make uh everything okay like even if the world is um like shit you can have like this little family that's yours you have people you can rely on um like people who quote unquote love you unconditionally like found family is the trope um sort of issue and sometimes you just have to enjoy the little things in life even especially when like like life outside the home seems especially overwhelming and you've got like the weight of your uh the weight of the world on your shoulders kind of thing yeah i mean that's that's why we read this is uh this is why we watch it um like I said, great chapter. I enjoyed um, it. Um, yeah. I think we should talk about... Okay, I want to talk about uh, moving on to the anime. I want to talk about episode 28. It's 28 and 29. Uh, the first one with... Uh, well, we already talked about the first part with uh, Yuri and uh, the journalist. I always forget his name. Uh, yeah, um, whatever the guy. But I like to talk his about... Name is Frank, I think. Frank? Wasn't was it Frank? Frank? Because I thought it was like so very similar to Frankie. So. Oh, uh, yeah, I think it's like Frank Franklin Frankfurt or something, something like that. Franklin. Franklin, yeah, it's Franklin. Yeah, yeah, Franklin something. I just remember his dad calling him Frank, so it might be Franklin. Frank, Frank, uh, Frankie's uh, long lost brother, older brother, maybe older, maybe younger. I don't know. <laughs> um, that guy. Okay, yeah, we talked about that one. I want to. Uh, I'm looking at it. That was most the of the episode. And then it also It was most of the episode. The uh Oh okay, yeah, yeah. I I wanted to go over what I wanted to ask what y'all thought about um uh, in that episode there was like four like really mini missions back to back and they were in that like that like colory like pastel kind of color oh, yeah, thing going on. It was that was uh very that was like oh huh, we have to include this somewhere. Hmm. What, yeah. what to do what to do i enjoyed what they did with those I, oh yeah like i like i think we had talked about it i think we had talked about it in the first season of like all those like tiny episodes that like they either like tacked onto the end or like i don't know like they tried to like put mush them all together like i wish they did all of them back to back and that's kind of what they did here and like the second half of that episode yeah, um, just to free space. And plus, I think they just did really well together. They were yeah, they, they, they're uh, funny. It was like they the are, Bond Man one. They are, they are very Lloyd shaking Anya awake. It sends that me was every funny. time because <laughs> that, that was, was me really with my good. sister. <laughs> yeah. My sister would have three alarms going off, like oh three God. separate like <laughs> classic alarm clocks going eh, 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 every morning. And then I'm like, "Girl, you need to wake up. <laughs> You're gonna Please be late for school." I was the responsible she was one. So I definitely felt Lloyd in that moment. Oh, you poor thing. Back to high school. <laughs> oh. oh. What else was in that uh, episode? There, it was Bond Man. It was the... Oh, yeah, it was Bond Man. Bond Man. I have to talk about that. Yeah, I wanted to talk about Bond Man. <laughs> oh. I, wanted, I wanted to talk about our favorite harem protagonist. <laughs> yeah, put that because... What is she, I don't know what the writers are doing with Bond Man's character, but I'm like, where's Princess Honey? What the hell happened with that? Oh, Why yeah. Why is he that, it up, okay? He that, have that's have not part of the group. <laughs> she broke up with him. That's what happened. Yeah, because... Yeah. Called a hot girl I, summer. Hot girl summer. I, I, kind of, I kind of have to talk about this because uh, the one aspect that obviously stands out about that Bondman episode. Well, that Bondman segment, other than the fact that Bondman is a hoe and deserved it, that all of all of the shit that he, he was hit with um, is the animation style. <laughs> and it's like, hmm. Yeah. On one hand, I get it. They are trying to give the vibe that this is a 70s animation. They're having fun with it too. They even do some cute things like, oh, 
let's imitate all those nasty dust specs that ended in old anime. But at the same yeah. time, it's like, um, yeah, this kind of looks like so, it's trying to be an old anime, but it really does not look like an old anime at all. Well, it'd be pretty jarring if it was like Spy Family and then no, like no. in the middle of it was no, Speed no, 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 no. And no, like... no, it it will be more like Gundam because <laughs> I'm th- I know what you're talking about with like Speed Racer and like Astro no, Boy it, and like those are that. 60s anime. 70s anime will be more like uh, Rose of Versailles or Lupin the Third or Gundam or well that it's not much better. I mean Gundam and Lupin. Well, Gundam Lupin's kind of it's also no, kinda, yeah, they they they, they look kind of jank. And at the end of the day, they yeah. are they are serving a story. They cannot deviate too much from Endos' style. Uh, can we? Uh... I guess moving on to the next episode, can we talk about Shoujo Anya again? Because <laughs> she makes another appearance right after we just got she Shoujo does. Anya. <laughs> Those are um, so <laughs> It was like, it's even worse this time. I'm like, Damien, bro, like, damn, like, you're He's six down years bad, old. but he can't admit it. <laughs> <laughs> no. He's so down bad. Oh my God. Uh, it's like, it's a little cringe fail. It's really cringe. cringe. Fail. It was, even I, was I think like, it's funny. It is funny, funny. but it is I cringe mean, as it's well. Really funny. It's like it's it's funny, but it's cringe. <laughs> <fail. Okay. laughs> I'm just cringe like, more. why? I'm just so like, why is he like this? <laughs> I don't <laughs> like, know. Why Maybe he's he, like, why does he so him like? Is uh, did he get this from his mom? Is that why oh, he's like definitely oh. like so weird about feelings? Like, oh, I don't want to like people. That's gross and weird. <laughs> Maybe. Oh yeah, that sounds Anya. like Melinda, right? That if, would be... if we're honest, that that kid never had a chance to have a normal oh, God, mental no. state with his parents. <laughs> no. That's true. Yeah. She is probably the most hands normal off. person there. It's a hands off, like a you know hands off parenting situation. So it's like he, he doesn't know how to. What are what are feelings? You know, like, I feel like you never really mm. had to healthily, like healthily express. No, yeah, things, yeah, you know, yeah. What, of it, like certain emotions are because of you know Donovan being Donovan uh, Donovan being a piece of shit father <laughs> and, yeah. and then Mel- Melinda's just she's on I she's on like she's on thin ice for me mm-hmm. I like her as a character so much but man I'm like uh oh, I wish they get a divorce oh no, yeah <laughs> but I know that's not <laughs> realistic being a politician it's it, it's it's one no. of those situations where you, yeah you 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 kind of get like oh oh boy. You like them because they're flaws, man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but uh, I. Uh, but yeah, I I can see, and it's it's uh, it's weird too. This episode because it was like, okay, so we had talked about uh, the episode before episode twenty six or um epi- episode twenty seven. Yeah. That one was the one uh like Mister Green and them, and we had talked about. Oh, we I did forget to mention uh somebody had pointed out blue i think it was you that pointed it out uh, or pines that uh that episode because we had some we had some complaints about the episode like the animation the, it, it was an observation um it turns out that episode was made by uh new graduates of uh studio cloverworks uh, training program oh um, yes uh Rusky mentioned this before didn't you Rusky? it wasn't it, it i don't think we knew about it, it, it oh I, or did I, someone yeah someone i, I oh, it was Pines? someone mentioned it in the server and then the yeah, and then i after we recorded the podcast that's when i remembered yep. it mm-hmm. oh so, okay yeah so if, uh and like we didn't hate the episode at all but like that i mean that explains like some of the design choices and things like yeah that. when uh, you're uh yeah i actually had a pretty good time no, with that episode yeah. i thought uh yeah. Like the music was really what helped sell that moment, maybe yeah, more I, so visual than visually. Yeah, no, yeah. Mm-hmm. It, um, I mean, I wish you were here because I wanted to ask you about the song because I knew you would probably know what the name of the song was, even though I didn't, oh, I, I actually, couldn't find I, it anywhere. Uh, oh, I think it's called Little Steps. That's why I saw on oh, Twitter. Really? I think. Um, Your guess, guess is better than mine. So. <laughs> <laughs> well, we can always double check. Um, yeah. That sounds right to hmm. me. Yes, it sounds like you're I right, mean, Blue. That, <laughs> that, I mean, that that sounds like the kind of name you would give a song that you will put in a situation like that. So, <laughs> yeah. No, but I, I did enjoy that no, episode. No, and, it was uh, fine. I enjoyed... Uh-huh. I, uh, I, I mean... Um, I enjoyed 27. and uh, But 28, I could definitely see that, like, there was more... Uh, there was more budget 
involved with 28 i i don't know like i kind of felt like uh they went uh, they went a little over the top with the whole uh with the macaron thing like i felt like there was it, 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 it was 29 know. that's 29 28 was yuri being yeah no uh, we're talking about yeah episode 29 but um, yeah, you you can you I, can uh, see the budget increase. Yes, you can see. Yeah, you can. You can really see it <laughs> with the over the top nature of the macaroon thing, and you can also see with the cats. We're gonna get to that, but the cats. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, the cats. I. <laughs> um, let me see if there was anything stand out uh, with uh, the first part with um, Damien. Um, I mean, y'all have anything that you wanted to talk about with that? I think my only thing that I. Uh, could think of with the whole uh the macaron bit was uh i'm glad that we're finally like the anime onlys are finally getting like a snippet of like the underlying mystery with anya because it's been glossed over this entire time yeah but it's more condensed in the anime so they're getting it sooner than we ever got it where it's like huh and i like how they said ancient language in this not classical language yeah because that makes it much more mysterious and it's like why does anya know ancient language like mm -hmm. all the butcher english uh, so i i like that part like yeah oh uh the only thing i thought was funny is that i love how the kids are always running around and like no one ever says anything about like they should stop running around the school they just put a disclaimer i just no, think that's, that's really funny they just put a disclaimer <laughs> yeah, that's like, true. They, they like jog and like sprint through the hallways all the time anya like, was no one there's a little note that says don't do yeah. this <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah anya naruto running <laughs> yeah with little arms run, out Aira. so cute uh, oh i thought i thought it was really cute they, segment mm -hmm. of the episode like i loved all the smug shitty little faces that all the ki all the boys made like oh my god mm -hmm. they were such little jerks about uh <laughs> like trying to ice out anya <laughs> they... with the card game i was like man yeah. you guys are such jerks but you're also yeah. really adorable so i can't be yeah. too mad <laughs> also all of anya's faces were on point this episode uh oh yes I like her little As grim, always. like hunched over, like sweaty smile. She's like, I gotta pretend like I, I know they did. <laughs> they did. They put so much detail into like how nervous she is about like, and she's like sweating up a storm. Like, my God, <laughs> give this girl some deodorant. Guys. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Yeah. Oh. Oh, no, that was great. I was I was very entertained. I really liked the episode. Yeah, oh. I had a, yeah. a lot of fun. Yeah, definitely. and then we have our ending. Uh, so uh, <laughs> the great romance plan, another Frankie. Okay, all right, we'll get we'll get to the cats. I want to talk about uh the new garden visual. Uh, because uh, okay, uh, finally this is working. Yeah, so like they expanded the garden where they're talking about garden, and like yeah. there's like there's like seven or eight garden members on there, yeah. and I'm curious because your isn't in this one and it's like all like, except for maybe the front dude like everyone else is new yeah so okay. we got like an old lady with like a cane we've got who looks like lieutenant surge in the background <laughs> from pokemon you are i knew that uh, you're talking we about. have guile <laughs> <laughs> we, yeah, like, or guile yeah um and then it kind of looks like it kind of looks like Chloe in the front a little bit. I know it's not, but they got well. Same there was hair, actually dude. a moment where I think someone, uh, I forget who, starts with a Z. I don't know how to say their username, but I think mm -hmm. he was like noticing Chloe's little beanie with the eye and kind of mm -hmm. jumping a little bit to conclusions, but about like, oh, is she like maybe also a wise agent slash mole mm -hmm. in the SSS? But I think we. Someone else corrected it, saying, "Oh no, I think that eye shape isn't the right like wise mm -hmm. shape because it's not off to the side; it's centered. So it's an SSS yeah. branded hoodie or a beanie. <laughs> I guess mm -hmm. the SSS also have their own merch line, apparently, because they can't yeah. help themselves. Yeah, <laughs> it's just just so funny. Every time there's like a here's a secret organization. What's the first thing we should do, men? Let's go Bling. make a merch line. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I still can't be the racket. Oh god." <laughs> Yes, they must have their own YouTube channel because they're also trying to sell it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they got to get I'll, big on the on the online, you know. I, okay, they so might as well. This yeah. is completely, yeah. off, this is super completely so off topic. I'm so sorry I'm bringing this up, but did y'all ever watch? Uh, 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 yeah, oh, forgot the name of Yakuza Babysitter or like a. I only watched like one episode. 
but I know what you're talking about, at least. Yeah, there's, I, yeah. there's like an episode where like the boss is like, all right, uh, our funds are kind of drying up. I need y'all to start a YouTube channel so we can <laughs> oh, make ad serious? revenues. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Made me think of that. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, that's so I good. Totally, yeah, I could totally see them making Yuri do it too. Oh god, could you imagine Yuri being a fucking? No, they would no. have Chloe do it. Yeah, she's yeah. she'd be way more popular. Uh, I so, forgot what we were talking about. Talking oh, we about. were talking about garden. Um, let's talk about cats now. <laughs> oh yeah, so, let's talk about that. Uh, I don't know what y'all wanted to talk about specifically with the cats, but uh, feel well, free to actually, go for to it. be honest, I was actually surprised Kopi's like. The, the cat was gray. I don't know why. I thought for sure he'd be like orange or something. No. You know? I, I don't know. I, I don't know why. Maybe it's just because my roommate, best friend's cat is literally orange and white. I'm just like, orange cat probably makes the most sense. Uh, okay. I, uh, I get it, but now it's... I have nothing to contribute here. Eh. Wait, what's going on? Oh. <laughs> 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 We're talking about the oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I mean, stop for a second. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Is it, what is happening? Did I miss something? <laughs> no, I'm just being dumb. I spaced we, out. We, we were just short circuiting. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> talking about cats. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay okay i got distracted okay. put, putting uh, up names for like that uh, chloe and yuri uh, ship what oh okay yoey oh yeah yeah <laughs> yoey yo yoey yoey moe yoey oh shit oh, no. crow's wi-fi oh, went no. out oh fuck that's why the screen was out. oh my god <laughs> do you know what this means podcast unchaperoned i don't know if we're recording anymore that, that's actually, actually a problem it says we're still recording oh well okay our stuff is recording i guess crows Arr, is no. <laughs> oh shit okay Arr, no. okay what do we do what do we do? <laughs> um okay cats got it so okay where we, we i came in at frankie what, what uh what were we talking about? Okay, uh, okay. Uh, I, I, mean, I should, well, I should mention that I find them, I think. that <laughs> yeah. the episode looks at a lot nicer than I expected, you know? Those cats are really well animated. <laughs> Which is, so, so, sounds stupid, no. sounds silly to make that observation, but <laughs> animation quad, animating quadrupeds is not easy. And they were animating cats. And a lot of them. Yeah. So... They nailed. Oh no, yeah, they, they face. nailed. They nailed the cats in general. They nailed uh, yours face yeah. too. Yeah. I think. I, 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 I liked all the extra. Effects I I, I also find face. funny how they <laughs> how since they can't animate all of that in the most complex way, they just had your own loop for a for a while. You know when they get on her and she's just rolling and rolling. Oh, she's swirling. Oh, uh, yeah, the cat's yeah. on the face. Yeah. <laughs> so help me, help me. She's on loop for a while. Scratch, didn't she? She got scratched by the cats because I thought she had it, like marks on her face in the manga, but that didn't happen. Yeah, in the, in the manga, it looks way more like intense because they're just like on her and she's screaming, get it off me, get it off me. But like <laughs> here it's more cute. Like she's just like. I think it was supposed around. to be more cute like that. Not super <laughs> intense. Was, like the cats yeah, are about to eat your face off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I hate that I love that panel so much. It's like, good <laughs> God, <laughs> it's, <awesome. laughs> it's so cute. I mean, nothing can really hurt your, let's be real here. Nah. Yeah. Nothing short of, like, I don't know, a missile at this no, point. No, well, wait, <laughs> get hit by a car. Are we going to nuke she's your in the, the finale? No, oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> don't say that. What if Endo actually does that? Nah, Bond will see it. He'll fix the future. <laughs> Fair okay. enough. We got Anya and Bond. Best duo. The best team. The best okay. team. The buddies. The best yeah. buddies. Buddies. Okay. Buddies. It was just a small. Okay, it was the last episode of Calm Before the Storm, in a way. <laughs> oh yeah, because oh, it's so excited. I'm so excited. The trailer, the trailer. Oh, if we want to talk about um McMahon, I want to bring up his McMahon. voice actor at this please point because he oh, yeah, finally go got introduced. Oh, please do. Um, he's got an interesting voice actor. His name is uh. Can you Hori Horuichi, I think. Mm-hmm. Um 
he is cred- credited as being Naruto. Oh and yeah, Tendo. I I I think he's Pain. Tendo, wasn't he? Yeah, <laughs> he's yeah. Pain. Tendo. Tendo slash Pain. Same he's oh pain. wow! Okay. I have to make an edit yeah. of wow. him like Pain. Holy shit! McMahon is yeah, Pain. My Pain is greater than yours. <laughs> Holy crap! Yeah. Yeah, that's kind of that's kind of funny. <laughs> no, yeah, it's it's really interesting. This guy's has been in like anime since like the eighties or nineties. Okay, kind wow. of. Tell, tell, uh, tell me more. Yeah, tell me more. Tell me, tell okay. me some funny roles. Give us a couple. No, guys, shut up. His most important role is Professor he's Oak. Professor yeah, Oak. that's you. Oh, oh, he's Pokemon. He's, oh, he's, oh, he's, oh, he's, he's perfect. Nailed he's, it. He's also in Cowboy Bebop as um, Gren. Do you remember the soldier? Oh, Who he's Ren? Like, Ren. He, yeah, in Ren. the Japanese dub, yeah. Oh my god, that, okay, wh- okay, X okay, Hunter okay, too. that is a weird Who's role to convert to McMahon. Like, real weird role. I know. <laughs> it's not as, uh, yeah, his voice isn't, I don't know, I think I was expecting something different for McMahon, but I don't hate it, I mean, I like his voice, I just, I don't know, I was, it, I was expecting something more gruff, I, guess. I think. And he he I don't know, sounds he kinda... like a gentleman, I guess. Yeah, he's an elegant old man. He's yes. very elegante. <laughs> elegante. <laughs> like Henderson. Que yeah. elegancia. But... Like elegante. With a, yeah, the trio, the old people. Like, I want... Okay, yeah, sorry. I, I want Henderson and them... Uh, uh, Martha? Fucking, oh, God. What was her Martha? Name? I'm so sorry, Martha. Oh, uh, he's... Um, they also... all know each other. Like, I know yeah. they know they do. They do. He's also in Metal Gear Rising. What? Oh, yeah. Revengeance as Raiden. That's his he's Raiden. Most... Wait, Holy shit, he's Raiden. Raiden? <laughs> yeah. Oh my that's god. His, one of his <laughs> most... <laughs> oh my god, he's Raiden. <laughs> Holy shit. Okay. Well, All there right. you go. Some really yeah. interesting, weird. Uh, but they. He's he's yeah, has like I've a very, going, uh... very long. Uh, I've been going through history. this list and I see some things and I'm like, oh, that is an interesting. Okay, tell thing. me. Is it? That's true for all VAs. Like I'm like I'm shocked sometimes about like the range some of these guys I have. Know, like you yeah. never Insane. think it would be you that person. Because like I mean, and... shopkeeper being Victor from Yuri on Ice still kills me. I can't. What? Can't get for me, it. it's shopkeeper what? on ice. Yes, yeah. shopkeeper's VA is in Yuri on Ice as Victor. For me, it's uh, freaking Fiona as oh, uh, Ochako. Oh yeah, Yuri. that's still <laughs> freaky. That's yeah. still so freaky to me. <laughs> yeah. I think uh, the one that trips me up is Anya's voice actor. Oh yeah, she has because such remember a range. she she was also that the that one villain from My Hero Academia last season, the one with like who could turn her hair into like bullets. What? And I was just like, that's Anya. <laughs> that sounds like an that sounds like a superpower Anya want. I'm sorry. Bullets yes, coming out of her hair. Though. Bullet hair. She's like, fuck yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I uh. <laughs> uh, Anya's English VA is changing in the anime uh, for anybody who's watching what? the dub. Uh, she's going to be out. I don't know if it's going to be for the rest of the season, but uh, her English VA is on maternity leave. Oh, uh, so oh yeah, yeah, that's yeah. right. She's, uh, she's, yeah. she's going to be a mom. She's going to have a little oh. Anya or I don't know. Damien, I don't know what, Wait, a what? Anya. <laughs> gender it is. I don't know. I don't know. What would be the male equivalent of Anya? Aaron? Anyo. 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 So, okay. A little Anya or Anyo. Um, oh, yeah. I don't know, but yes. Uh, if, the, if the dub sounds different, that's why. But uh, uh, yeah, so uh, cool. Uh, I'm super excited to see what my man McMahon is going to be like. Uh, oh, I'm sure he's gonna I, be really badass. He's gonna be so friendly and then like murder mode. I wonder, yeah, I wonder uh, how they're gonna take the characterization with McMahon because, like, I uh, they keep it true to the manga for the most part, but you know, they take their liberties with it. So, I don't know if they're gonna make McMahon just as like cold as he is in the manga, or are they gonna kind of lighten it up a little bit? I'm interested to see how they take that. No, I'm I same. hope they keep him cold. I feel like they'll be yeah, I do faithful too. to that. I, I, I mean. I hope I don't know what they I'm, would... I'm interested to see like cuz you know there's that like the 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 panels of him like mopping up blood and cleaning up and stuff. <laughs> yeah, and I'm wondering the if they keep that. If they just like oh um, no. Hello? 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 Okay, okay, good. Oh. I'm like my Wi-Fi is wigging out on me. Uh, oh, okay. What were we saying pines? I'm sorry. I didn't catch that last part. 
I just if they're gonna keep him just like mopping up blood in the background while yours killing oh God, all the I other assassins, so. <laughs> just like continuously, just like <laughs> just zigzagging while yours just like putting holes in people. Yeah, I hope so. Yeah, we'll we'll go ahead and call it here. Uh, Roski's having some audio trouble, and but at I'm least he was Wi-Fi with us trouble. for at least he was with us for most of the podcast. Unlike yeah, before. if, if uh, yeah, if I wasn't here, Roski was here, and Roski isn't here, so I'm here. So uh, we're interchanging. You guys can't exist in the same space because he's the same person. <laughs> No comment. <laughs> no comment. <laughs> oh, there he is, Rusky. <laughs> I don't think you're recording, though, but uh, we're, we're calling it here. Uh, next chapter drops in two weeks. Uh, we are super excited to talk about uh, the first two episodes of the cruise arc, so we'll talk about that in our next episode. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it for now. Uh, we'll go ahead and call it here. Uh, thank you, everyone, for listening. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you all again soon, hopefully. Bye. Goodbye. Bye. 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 You can't hear me. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <Rosie. laughs>